All right, then, my friends. So this is the solution to the previous challenge where I asked you to create this kind of scroll effect using CSS animations. So then, my friends, I'm here using the starter files. And you can see to begin with, without any styles, or rather with just these styles, the basic ones, it looks something like this in the browser. So we have learn over here, which is this div. And then next to that, we have the other div with the word list inside it. And those words are all here sitting next to each other. And they're sitting next to each other because spans are in line block by default, but also this div and this div is set to be inline block as well. That's why they sit next to each other. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is target each of these span tags right here because we don't actually want the spans to sit next to each other. We want them on top of each other because they're scrolling up and down, right? So we need to target those and we can do that by saying div.wordlist. Remember, that's the class we use right here for this div. And then we get the spans inside those. So we can say span and then we'll display each one as block. Now, if we do that and save, we can preview over here. And now they're all on top of each other. Now, there is a problem because JavaScript is way up here and it needs to be down here, right? But we'll come back to that in a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to target the word list itself because this is essentially what we're going to animate up and down this thing right here. And as we animate that up and down, these are all going to slide up and down. So let's go back to the styles and we'll say div dot word hyphen list. And I'm going to position that as relative. And the reason I'm doing that is because we're actually going to animate the top property right here. Now to begin with, if top is zero, take a look at this. It doesn't move, right? But if we say top is, I don't know, minus 50 pixels, then it's going to go up, right? Now it's a problem because it's going up away from this thing down here. So let me just move that back to zero. And what I'm going to do is come to this div right here. Now it's targeting this div and this div. Now what I'm going to do is set the overflow of this to be hidden. So overflow hidden. And because we have a height of 30 pixels, then anything that overflows that is going to be hidden. Now, if I go over here, now we can see we just get the first word JavaScript and the rest is hidden. So it's brought it all down. OK, and it just shows that one word. Now, then what we want to do is move this position up then. So I can say minus 50 pixels, for example. And if I do that, then it's going to scroll up, but it's kind of in between. So what's the figure I need to use here? Well, it's 30 pixels because the line height is 30 pixels. The height of the div is 30 pixels. So if I bring it up by 30 pixels because of that line height, then it's going to bring it to the next word essentially. So now we can see node. If I bring it up to 60, then it's going to be Python, etc. Now I want it to start at zero, which is JavaScript. But what I want to do now is create some kind of animation and apply it to this to move this top position up. So we can actually get rid of that because the default value here is going to be zero pixels. But I'm going to paste in this animation right here called cycle. And you can see we have zero, 10, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. So we're basically animating it all the way up to 100%. Now we start off with the top value being zero, which is what we want for this. And it stays that way until 10%. And that means that we have a little pause where it's at zero. So it's not cycling up straight away. We can read JavaScript for a second or two, and then it's going to animate to minus 30. Then it stays at minus 30 again for a little while, and then it animates to minus 60 and then stays at minus 60, then to minus 90 and so forth. And then the last one at 100%, we want it to cycle right back to the beginning, don't we? So we have to say at 100%, go back to zero pixels. So now let's try applying this animation to the word list. So we say animation is going to be cycle and the easing function can just be ease and we'll say five seconds. So let's preview that. I'm going to refresh. Starts with JavaScript, then Node, then Python, then HTML, then Flutter, and then it's going back to JavaScript at the end. Awesome. But it's not repeating. We want it to repeat. So all we need to do is say infinite at the end and that's going to infinitely loop this animation. So if we take a look at this now, once we get back to the end and go back to JavaScript, then it starts the whole animation again to node. And that's going to go on and on and on now. Pretty simple, right? So that's the animation pretty much complete. Now, final touch, I'm just going to paste in some colors for these. All I'm doing is targeting the spans and using nth child to target the first, 
then the second, then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth. These are all the different words, these spans right here. And we're just coloring them different colors so it looks a little bit nicer in the browser. And now we have the finished product. Awesome.